It's time once again for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Jamie is a leading Tampa Bay real estate agent and featured on the Wall Street Journal's list of top 100 real estate agents in the nation. Jamie invites you to list your home with him today and learn more at tampabayradio.com. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney. Business becomes show business. Alongside my uh, producer, Josh Vazda, running the uh, live video stream available over at TampaBayRadio.com. Josh, good morning to you as always. How's it going, man? Going good. Good show planned for us uh, today at the 8 o'clock hour. It'll be Working Women Wednesdays. We uh, highlight a couple of the uh, ladies from the uh, Working women of tampa bay each and every wednesday one of our uh most earliest segments of the uh, program so we'll be uh, speaking with uh, them in the eight o'clock uh, segment also on this hour of the program on the second part of uh, the hour we'll be talking to uh, christy campbell a franchise owner with home instead senior care and also a regular contributor to the uh, program and also we'll be talking with andrick frazier managing partner with integral energy here in just a little bit I want to remind everybody about the upcoming business symposium on october 28th tickets available over at tbbo.org forward slash symposium, or you can just use the link at tampabayradio.com. Also, we've uh, added another event to the uh, ticket price now. So on October 20th from 6 to 9, people who purchase tickets to the uh, business symposium will also be invited to our VIP event free of charge. That's included in the uh, ticket price at the uh, Tampa Club. And so uh, light food and drinks will be uh, served, and it'll be a VIP cocktail event at the uh, Tampa Club. And for people who have never been to the Tampa Club, it is an amazing event. Uh, a facility with tremendous views of Tampa. Is there going to be go-go dancers this time? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to arrange like a a, a speaker of some sort. Yeah, but I, I I got that uh got that last night talking with the uh, talking with Bill Rice over at the oh, uh, cool. Tampa Club managing uh, director over there and a big uh, supporter of the program as well as uh, TBBO and everything. So he's trying him. to get like Henry Rollins or something. He's <laughs> is, a business owner, so is he living the area? Uh, no, but he travels. <laughs> so um, I will see if I can get uh, uh, somebody of a uh, uh, recognition at the event. But nonetheless, if you purchase a ticket, uh, they are $39 for TBBO members, $59 for non-members. And including the event on October 28th, you'll be invited to the VIP event at the Tampa Club on October 20th from 6 to 9. Again, tampabayradio.com for information on that. So let's go and bring in my guest for the first part of today's show. I have Andrick Frazier, managing partner of Integral Energy and Learn more about this at integralenergyus.com. Andrick, welcome to the program today. Good morning, Jamie. Happy to be here. And he's also a USF bull, as am I. So go Bulls. Go Bulls, absolutely. So tell me, Integral Energy, what is this? Well, uh, Jamie, thanks for having me on the show first and foremost. But uh, Integral Energy uh, is a company that, that focuses on relationships and saving customers money as it relates to energy. Uh, we specialize in natural gas marketing. Uh, we also have a couple of other different supply chain management uh, tools. Uh, we also focus on project management as far as energy related installations for customers. And uh, a new service that we just added is facility maintenance for some of our energy and food and beverage providers. Okay. Now you worked in the energy business uh, in your background, uh, you know, in Tico. And, you know, I was always interest, ha- interested in how people decide to go down the path they go to in business. I mean, I talked to you yesterday, a guy who started yeah, yeah. A, a phone company. I mean, yeah. a typical business owner wants to do like a, a restaurant or a simple service. And I'm, I'm kind of on the, you know, same thing in the same way with you. I mean, an energy company, where did you get this idea? Well, I mean, I think if for anybody who's looking to start a company, it has to be two things. One, there has to be a need. Um, someone has to need the services you want to provide. And the other one is a passion. And, uh, you know, through my 15 or so years working for Tico Energy, um, as things started to turn towards more a sustainable and green movement, um, I saw customers that really wanted to be engaged in a saving money, being conscious of what they were doing as far as their energy usage. You know, but the other piece is customers now are, are starting to find a competitive edge out there in the marketplace. What separates them from their competitors? And I think, um, Consumers now are a lot more conscious with who they're doing business with. And if there's a sustainability aspect of what you're doing with your business and it saves you know, your customers money, it's more attractive. Now, who are your clients? I mean, you're not dealing with residential consumers. I mean, for people that aren't familiar, we're in a regulated state. There can only be like one power company in the area. And that's a whole other talking point in and of itself. But I mean, who do you cater to? OK, so in the state of Florida, as it relates to electricity, there is no such thing as unbundled service, whether you're residential or commercial. 
on the natural gas side, commercial customers can unbundle um, their, their natural gas uh, actual procurement. So instead of buying all of your gas from the utility, you have choice here in the state of Florida. We're one of those choice providers. Um, so really, you know, the perfect customer for us is uh, anyone in the food and beverage industry, hospitality industry, universities, um, hotels, hospitals, manufacturing companies, and and believe it or not, transportation companies now, especially with the new wave of compressed natural gas. And so with electricity, you have no choice but to use Tico in the Tampa Bay area, but there's Tico People's Gas. So with gas, so you can make a selection to go with a different provider. Why the difference there? Are you, are you up to... Up to School well, on that. Well, I mean, uh, from a from a, a distribution perspective for Tico People's Gas, you have to get the distribution from a utility. That's mandated by the state of Florida. But you can unbundle the commodity. So when you look at it from a gas perspective, the state of Florida doesn't have a large heating load. So if you're procuring gas through Tico People's Gas, they have to socialize the entire cost of operating that system and procuring the gas across their 600,000 customers across the state of Florida, all the way from Pensacola, Jacksonville, down to Miami. So um, that's really not cost effective for a commercial customer who may be operating here in, in Tampa as opposed to those regions. So it gives a, a commercial customer an opportunity to save money. Now, you are dealing primarily in compressed natural gas, am I correct? That is correct as it relates to transportation. Okay. Are there any other fuels that are associated with integral energy? Is it all just compressed natural gas? The only thing that we provide now is compressed natural gas. Uh, we build stations, but we also uh, help customers make the decision from a transportation perspective if it's the right fuel for them. Uh, we we also uh, can can line customers up if they're looking at doing LNG or propane, other sustainable fuels, but we don't provide those services. Uh, what, what what is the gas used for in transportation? Um, uh, that's something that I'm missing. Like I get the restaurants cook with it, but I mean, how does it? Uh, you know, what are cars using it or something? Well, uh, believe it or not, uh, for people that live in Hillsborough County, um, about 75 percent of the waste trucks that operate here in Hillsborough County, yeah. waste management, WSI, those are all compressed natural gas trucks. So those natural gas actually run those engines. Um, they burn about 20 percent cleaner than diesel. Um, it's a sustainable fuel and it's much cheaper than diesel as well. Um, we also see it now in the Class 8 hauling industry. There are several um, Class 8 trucking companies. Dillon Transport is a local company. Um, Saddle Creek Transportation, which is also uh, based out of Lakeland, they have about 180 units apiece that run off of compressed natural gas. How are the engines modified to run off the compressed natural gas, or are they? How does that work with like an existing engine in these vehicles? Well, on the larger engines and refuse, and refuse trucks and also um, in Class 8 tractors, these are manufactured by Cummins. Uh, Cummins actually builds right off the factory line a CNG engine. Um, if you're talking about transportation vehicles, um, both Ford, GM, um, and Dodge all have products that come off of the line uh, readily available for CNG. The problem that we have really from a um, what I would consider a passenger car issue is that um, it's, a, it's a hefty expense. I mean, so you have to burn a lot of miles in order to get the capital cost back for, uh, for the difference in the vehicle. So is this then a limited market, though, uh, for your product then? If you have to deal, if you're only dealing in, in transportation vehicles that have that type of an engine, I mean, how are you able to expand, you know, dealing with this limitation? There, there is a limited market. Uh, so for us, uh, we focus on the refuse industry, transportation industry as it relates to transit. Hart also, excuse me, I forgot to mention them. Hart now operates 30 CNG buses, and they're going to be converting their entire fleet over in the next four years. So every Hart bus that you see running around Hillsborough County will be on CNG. Business is good for you, man. Uh, it's it's okay. You just have to make sure you're able to get your foot in the door. <laughs> you know, we're one of the small. I feel like we here. have something in common. This compressed natural gas. I also specialize in natural <laughs> gas. Uh, I, I, I can appreciate that if you wait till like the 7:30 hour. You know, start manufacturing now. That's okay. Um, next Tuesday it's Taco Tuesday. You know, we can hang out. You know, okay. Uh, Josh always adds a little color to the uh, conversation here if you every morning and so for competition is is tico people's gas your competitor i mean how many other providers are there for compressed natural gas in the area um well from a cng perspective uh, tico people's gas is an advocate um they do have a tariff rate and they're they're incredibly special to work with um i, I really cherish a lot of relationships I, I formed there when i was with tico but uh, from a competitor standpoint, um, I don't like mentioning my competitors on air, so I'm not going to do that. But there's several mm -hmm. uh, that are out here in the marketplace. We're one of the smaller ones. So, um, you know, I think uh, my time with Tico and having an opportunity um, to, to really um, spread the word here in Florida, starting like six, seven years ago about compressed natural gas, gives us a little bit of credibility. So, um, you know, we're a small player. We rely on relationships to get our foot in the door. And 
um, that's been able to be successful for us thus far. Jamie, that's a common path between op- uh, entrepreneurs is where they get in with a company like Tico and they cultivate their business relationship skills and stuff, and then they launch into a full career on their own. Yeah. How many times have we seen that? Yeah, and obviously you uh, learn the energy business uh, inside Tico and you saw the opportunity. At what point in your career at Tico did you begin to see the opportunities with compressed natural uh, gas? Um, it's about 2010, 2011, and um, I was fortunate enough at Tico to move around into several different departments. Um, I started on the power plant side, which I actually built in power plants. I worked on one of the first projects to convert one of their coal plants over to natural gas, and that was in 2000, 2001. And that was my first introduction to natural gas. And at that time, just to give people a reference point, natural gas was $9 an MMBTU. Today it trades at $2 an MMBTU. And my, uh, fir- my first uh, uh, introduction into natural gas is when my dad pull the drive by on me and now i uh, you know make it a point when i go to his house i have to hit him back up and you know it's all out war from there on out <laughs> and that's unfiltered too that's a shame it's very unfiltered yes. <laughs> it's straight methane you know toxic i turn around and people are like mutating it's awesome <laughs> your uh, stations and things uh that how does that work for philip so do you have uh, your fixed stations do you partner with other people how does that work uh we partner with other people on development of the station so uh, we don't do any engineering or design work we really focus on the construction Um, we have uh, an equipment provider that we work with as well um, that is based uh, out of texas and um, you know really for these stations um, you know there are a couple of them are public you know which we want to have to have public access but it's very limited to who's coming there you know it's not like we have larry off the street with his pickup truck who's pulling in even though we could and we do accept visa mastercard and american express do you handle installs like if somebody wants to you know change over to natural gas i mean do you do you guys can you guys provide that service or if they want to get rid of natural gas are you equipped to remove it from a commercial standpoint, we can coordinate the activities. We won't go in and do the work um, on the commercial side. So if it's a hospital or hotel that you know wants to change over some of their equipment from electric to gas, we can coordinate and of course sell the gas to them. Um, removal is the same thing. We don't do it, but we can also we can help them uh, link them up with the right parties. And what's the uh, cost savings and the benefits versus just traditional gas and uh, a diesel in the transportation vehicles again? Oh wow! Um, so for for a customer that's doing let's say twenty thousand gallons a year um, on diesel, they'll they'll do roughly the same thing with CNG. Um, all in right now, diesel's fairly low, and I know we see a published price of like two bucks, mm-hmm. and everybody's excited about that. But the big boys pay less than two dollars. Hate to bust everybody's bubble. So if they're paying a dollar <laughs> seventy, a dollar seventy five on the diesel side, um, on the CNG side, they can be as low as under a dollar. Under you know, a dollar, really? Yeah, it really depends on the type of equipment that they install. Currently talking to Andrick Frazier, managing partner with Integral Energy, and learn more at integralenergyus.com. Got a little bit more with him when we come back from a break on that business show. Jamie Maloney, your business becomes show business. Who doesn't have a smartphone these days? And of course, there's an app for everything. Well, almost everything. That's why the folks at Popcorn Apps started developing mobile applications. They saw people like you with genius ideas, unable to make those thoughts a reality. They develop applications for tens of thousands of dollars less than you'll find anywhere else and will turn your idea into a reality in a matter of just a few months. Think you're not ready? Think again. They are your one-stop shop for mobile application development. See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn. Or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million-dollar business and a world changer starting today. At Vein 911, we will help you feel great again. Do you have restless legs, night leg cramps, or ankle swelling? Restless legs, cramping, swelling, and tired heavy legs are often symptoms of hidden vein disease. You do not have to have visible bulging veins to have the symptoms of vein disease. The vein care specialists at Vein 911 are uniquely qualified to evaluate and treat your veins. Are you unhappy with your previous vein treatment? Vein 911 succeeds where others fail. Call Vein 911 today at 855-VEIN-911. That's 855-834-6911 to book your free consultation. Vein 911. We will help you feel great again. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger and Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger and Company comes to you with their shop at home flooring sales service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees.
employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. Savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers, communicate among teams, and collaborate with partners. Even with advances in technology, you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them online at www.alphacomputing.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at ricktaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813-641-4757. Rick Taseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. What's up, business rock stars? Are you ready to bring out the CEO in you? Join Julianne Nichols, CEO of Focus on You Strategy, every other Friday on that business show. She'll be talking with other chief entrepreneurial officers about how they grew their businesses. Remember, you could join the conversation at Focus on You Strategies, Focus Fridays Facebook group at Facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. That's Facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. Be the CEO of you. In an age when the good and the better vie for attention, it is the best that stands out. The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida, is the love story for the city of Tampa. Celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at ProudlyFlorida.com and be sure to visit ProudlyFlorida.com. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Slow traffic on the southbound Veterans Expressway between Dale Mabry and Gunn Highway, also on the brakes between Waters Avenue and the Courtney Campbell Causeway. Heavy traffic off to Howard Franklin Bridge, just off the bridge through the West Shore area and southbound I-75 jam from just south of Bruceby Downs to I-4. Crash on southbound East Lake Road near Landsburg Parkway. Couple lanes blocked here. Maybe stick with the U.S. 19 in the southbound direction instead. See traffic problems called the injury firm of Abrahamson Uterich Hillsborough Traffic Dip Line, 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Think It Up. Hi, I'm Nick Jonas, and I'm here to tell you about Think It Up, a new initiative to activate student-powered, teacher-led learning projects. Students and teachers, how can you spark great learning experiences in your classrooms today? Join us at thinkitup.org. Today, partly sunny with a 30% rain chance, high 89. Tonight, breezy with a low 76. Tomorrow, windy with a 30% chance of rain, high 88. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show. Jamie Maloney, your business becomes show business. Talking to Andrick Frazier, managing partner of Integral Energy, a compressed natural gas company. And learn more about this at integralenergyus.com. And Andrick, uh, you know, how does, you know, the economic development in the area and just in the community and across the country you know uh, across the board come into play with this anyone who, who drives with their eyes open can see all the activity that's happening here in, in the bay area um, and anytime you see cranes moving um, it, it's, it's great for business so we have uh, a lot of restaurants that are doing well uh, we probably have within the, or just over the summertime alone eight new concepts that have started um, that, that we're going to be serving from a natural gas standpoint so if the economy's thriving you know we're thriving you know which which is a very good thing now, how is the message about compressed natural gas getting, you know, spread through the community? I mean, this is something you probably got to talk to lawmakers about, legislators about to get, you know, this in front of, uh, you know, the consumers. How do you go about that or how do the firms get a, go about this? From the state of Florida, we're fortunate enough to have um, a clean cities, which is right here. Um, it, it is actually housed at the University of South Florida. And uh, that is something that's a designation that comes from the Department of Energy. Um, we're one of, I believe, six in the state of Florida that actually have a Clean Cities designation. They do an unbelievable job from an education standpoint. Um, but we also have uh, organizations like the Florida Natural Gas Association, and then from a national standpoint, NGV America, that really does a lot of the legwork in Tallahassee and also in D.C. to making sure that uh, you know our uh, our legislators are aware of you know what's going on with CNG and the environment. 
how is natural gas produced? Because you know, um, you know, I, I could probably help out with that. Just saying, you know. <laughs> Josh, we, we, we have to figure out a capturing method for that. I, I, so I, maybe I, that's something I can work on in the next two years. Yeah, <laughs> you know, just hook me up to some tubes or something. <laughs> we'll, we'll work on that one. Um, natural gas is is it's a fossil fuel, so it's extracted. Um, I mean, uh, and it was really a, a byproduct um, of drilling for oil um, at one point in time, but now it's uh, it's really one of the main resources um, as it relates to. Um, now, can you can could you ever compete with like a, a residential housing because the pipes and all that stuff are in place for you know Tico and and things? I mean, would you have to put like a, a propane tank or something on site for you know home use? I mean, can you compete with you know residential? If it comes to a residential standpoint, that's something that have to be come from Tallahassee, right? And, and the PSC, there are some states um, in the country that do have. Um, unregulated services it relates to residential man he, he's a smooth dude i mean he's, we're talking about natural gas he makes it interesting like he's talking about like women or something <laughs> like how do you do that dude i mean i, I could use you know extra personal skills I mean, you and, have you to know. make it appealing right you know <laughs> yeah. you, have, you, have to, you have to have to pique someone's interest I, I need to do that so that way i can make money off my natural gas yeah i, I. Now, are there any tax breaks, any incentive subsidies of that nature with uh, companies that are using compressed natural gas in their fleet? That is a great question. Um, here in the state state of Florida, two years ago, um, there was a, a push to get um, an incentive base uh, legislation pushed through, and there there was there was one that was done. So each year, um, there's about six million dollars that's available to help curve the costs or the cost differential between. When a consumer will buy a diesel tractor versus a CNG tractor, and this is only for fleets, um, 60% of that is designated for what we consider public sector. So that's your city, county, transit authorities. The remaining 40% can go to, to the private sector, which are folks like Waste Management, WSI, and Saddle Creek. Um, also in the state of Florida, as part of that legislation, um, CNG vehicles are exempt from state road tax. Now, um, this... Uh, this incentive program ends, and I think, in a year and a half, uh, but it's been very successful, and uh, we've seen a lot of companies take advantage of it. Now, how many different locations across the uh, Bay Area are there to uh, to refuel with the, the CNG? Is it, a, is it pretty uh, accessible in the area? This is interesting because in 2010, um, there was not a single CNG station here oh, in the really? Bay Area. <laughs> uh, yeah, Clearwater Gas uh, actually installed the first one that was open to the public, and since that time, just here in the Bay Area, we're probably up to about 12 or 13 CNG stations with about five of those being open to the what public. happened between now and 2010 was there some legislation was there some good lobbying what happened well I think it was a it was the perfect storm it was some legislation and lobbying they got some incentives passed but the other piece remember I mean just a few years ago diesel was almost four dollars a gallon right so when diesel's four dollars a gallon and you're paying a you know we're from a dollar to a dollar fifty for CNG uh, the cost recovery uh, was was pretty attractive for a lot of businesses and they jumped in it with both feet and what do you think the future of uh, compressed natural gas is is this going to open overtake the fleet industry uh, someday and become the standard versus diesel as it is today? I think CNG will be the standard as it relates to uh, what I consider like non over the road long haul. I think uh, for anything that goes out readily within a 500 mile radius, CNG is going to be the fuel of choice. So transits, um, school buses, uh, class eight tractors, I think that's where the niche will be. Mainly commercial use. Then. Yes, and just, just curious, use. how do compressed natural gas engines uh, work versus diesel versus internal combustion? Do they fire under you combustion? Know, do they question. fire under pressure? You're making me feel like a nerd in here. <laughs> so um, diesel engines, everyone knows, is a, is a, is a compression engine. Right. Um, and gasoline engines are spark ignited engines. So CNG engines are spark ignited engines. They operate similarly to a gasoline okay. engine. Oh, so it works the same way I do after tacos and beer. <laughs> exactly. Just right on. You add a little fire to it. That's it. Andrick Frazier, uh, great job on the program this morning. Thank you for having me on, Jim. Managing partner of Integral Energy and learn more about this at IntegralEnergyUS.com. Also, we'll be uh, reminded of the Business Symposium. Pick up your tickets and just announce at the top of the hour, we got a VIP event uh, in conjunction with that on October 20th at the Tampa Club. So, visit TampaBayRadio.com for tickets. Coming back from the break, I'll have Christy Campbell with Home Instead Senior Care. We'll be back in a moment.
I feel guilty that I can't always be there when mom feels stuck at home. She was always there for us. But now she can't get out and I'm not always available to take her places. Someone else needs to help her get around. Then I learned about home instead. Now mom can do what she enjoys because her personal caregiver is there. And I can just be a daughter again. Are you struggling to care for your loved one? We can help. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. Hi, welcome to Yeagers. We just want to take a minute and show you what we're all about. Uh, at Yeagers, our primary business is hardwood flooring, although we are remodelers for kitchen, bath, and general construction. We operate a fleet of shop-at-home vans that have all the flooring-type products, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, tiles, stone, what have you. So we're able to come out first with products in our vehicles and take a look at the setting, how the colors will work, and then to be able to come up with some options and ideas for you. If that's not good enough, we have a large distribution center that we inventory product and have a nice display area. Crash on southbound East Lake Road near Landsburg Parkway. Couple lanes blocked here. Maybe stick with the US 19 in the southbound direction instead. See traffic problems. Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uterich Hillsboro Traffic Tip Line 866 545 9595. This report is brought to you by the Center for Disease Control. Zika is being spread by mosquitoes. Protect yourself, your community, pregnant women, and our next generation. There are actions you can take. Go to cdc.gov slash prevent Zika to learn more. Together we can fight Zika and protect our babies. 1250 Winds Weather Center forecast. Breezy conditions start to develop today. See a mix of sun and clouds. 40% chance of scattered showers or storms. Upper 80s near 90 mid 70s for the low about the same forecast tomorrow we'll see how things go with hurricane matthew as far as the end of the week and into the weekend keep up to date on that check out 970 wfla.com our sister station and operation Stormwatch. impact radio 1250 wins whnz you're listening to that business show with jamie maloney on 1250 wins whnz missed a show then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand once again here's your host jamie maloney and welcome back to that business show with jamie maloney where business becomes show business if you're just uh, finding us on the air for the first time this is a show that promotes positivity talking to the different business owners entrepreneurs political and community leaders about what they're doing in our communities to make a difference so we stay off of the news political and uh, sports talk there's uh, plenty of that going around on the airwaves and the program going on uh, since uh, february 2015 which is uh came off of the uh, real estate show that i used to do so been on air a total of about actually over three years now spreading positivity each and every morning on the uh, program if you'd like to uh, help support the uh, show a couple ways to do that uh number one uh tampa bay business owners the uh, business network behind the uh, show now by joining the uh, business network uh, you become a, a support of the uh, program and also get to come on to the uh, radio show a couple of times uh, free of charges that's a benefit of the organization you can uh, apply for a membership over at tampabayradio.com there's a big button that says join tbbo and the investment in that uh, 59 dollars a month or uh, 595 for the year and a 250 dollar one-time startup fee and includes a lot more than just this radio show a lot of different events uh, focusing on uh, education and collaboration and so it's just a uh, a great way to uh, get out and uh, meet your fellow business owners and learn and uh, share your own knowledge with them through the uh, tampa bay business owners so again visit uh, tampabayradio.com fill out our uh, request form happy to sit down and talk with you about benefits of the organization our next guest for the program is christy campbell owner of home instead senior care learn more about this homeinstead.com forward slash 482 christy welcome back to the program today good morning and christy is a regular contributor to the uh, program and today we'll be talking about uh the upcoming holidays and how to prepare uh your loved ones uh for you know uh, the holidays and so let's start with that i mean thanksgiving is i guess right around the corner to it me, is to me right around the corner is tomorrow I yeah. don't, <laughs> i'm impulsive i'm last minute but to the average individual it's right around the corner 
Well, to the average individual, when you have families and grandparents and grandchildren and aunts and uncles and and the you know the Walton family, um, it's time to start preparing and start thinking about um, Thanksgiving and about Christmas. And when you have a senior citizen, um, there are times that you have to make certain adjustments. Um, depending upon their activity and their energy level. And so one of the things I wanted to talk to about today was um, adult child, don't stress out about it. Um, just think it through. And here's some ideas. Um, yes, he's already raising his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is already ready to come into play. No, I, was, I just really liked that you called you know, them adult children. Adult no, normally that's an insult or people use that to against <laughs> she me. She uses no. that term all the time on the program. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, I just yes. love it. I mean, I feel at home when you say that. Are you because yeah. that's cuz you're the biggest kid. Yeah. Well, I was I was going to ask, what about Halloween? Halloween? No, <laughs> seniors don't care about Halloween. No, no, no. We're good with Halloween. So, um so Thanksgiving. So, oftentimes the holidays is going to multiple locations in one day. Like you're going from one person's house for breakfast, another person's house for lunch, and another person's house to watch football for dinner. Um, carrying around your senior citizen and all of those adventures can be a, a chore and a task. So um, I would just champion you to consider separating some of those out. Do something Wednesday night. So one family have a Thanksgiving Wednesday night. Another person have the breakfast Thursday morning. Take a break during lunch. Don't take your senior citizen anywhere. Just let that person be. And then do your evening dinner with football if your senior citizen enjoys the football. Or flip that. If they're in bed by the time it's football time, then have your breakfast and lunch on Thanksgiving. And just kind of slow it down. Don't try to push too much. Um, the adult child will be stressed out as much as the senior citizen will be stressed out. Now, the holidays are often a challenging time for seniors. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of suicides uh, occur during the uh, holidays in the uh, senior category because, you know, of lost loved ones and just, you know, long lost memories. Uh, correct. How would you uh, respond to that? From November to January in the senior industries, we have the, the highest death rate. And that's just because they give up. Um, they see everything on TV, they hear everything, they, you know, they're not, they're not missing the commercial, the public's commercials, you know, they see the TV shows where everyone's getting together and loving each other and, and they know that they don't have that. And so we do have an, an extensive, uh, death rate, um, during the holiday seasons. It's pretty, pretty, pretty sad. Yeah, so I would agree with that. preparation in advance, uh, a key tip of uh, getting your uh, senior or key your tip. key tip uh, to get them ready for the holidays. What else can we do to make them, you know, enjoy the holidays? Well, let's talk about meals. You know, um, don't make it such a big ordeal that you have to make a separate meal for them because they're on a separate diet. Um, the most, the least you make it a big deal about, the the more they'll fit in. Um, you know, they want to be just like everybody else as well. So if you make it, you know, oh, we've got to do low sodium or oh, we've got to do diabetic or oh, we have to eat right at this time because you have to take such and such med. The more you make it drama, the more you're going to make them uncomfortable. So just act like it's another day. How is your business affected uh, during the holidays with regard to the assisted uh, living care that you provide, you know, through your business? Does it become more demanding on you? Do you have to, uh, do you, uh, do you incur more services on behalf of the seniors? How does your business affect it? You know, it's kind of different. Um, we have some adult children that they travel um, during the holidays. And I have one lady specifically that calls me for Thanksgiving and calls me for Christmas. I see her no other times of the year, but because the adult child has to go to Georgia, she calls us to stay home with her loved one. So we have either the uptick because they know they have to travel, they can't take their loved one with them, or we have the down tick where, Christy, I don't want to pay the time and a half because my girls are my employees. <laughs> so they don't want to pay the time and the half, so the family absorbs it. And they just do what we are suggesting where they end up having a structure and a certain game plan for the day. So when when you send somebody out to the home, I mean, uh, do you actually send them during the holiday or or do your employees sure. get the day off? So they're with that senior helping the adult child throughout the entire day? Correct. They can be. And that's one of the other options and one of the things that the adult child can plan for. Um, if we're not there normally on a holiday, let's, so let's go back. So seniors have a set schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, you know, whatever their schedule is that we see them. Thursday is Thanksgiving. It always is, always will be. Well, if we're not there on a Thursday, 
but they need help that day, then we just move the schedules around. Um, our caregivers are pretty committed to what's best for the senior. And if a family member says, hey, I need help, um, 90% of my girls are on board and will help because they know that that's their senior and they take a lot of pride in their senior and it's their client and mm-hmm. they love on them. And for people that are not familiar with Christy and her uh, business here, I mean, she has over a hundred different caregivers uh, uh, kind of giving, you know, uh, caregiving uh, services uh, throughout the uh, Tampa Bay region. And so are your caregivers typically assigned to just one individual? Do they alternate different individuals? How does that work for your different caregivers? So the caregivers like ours, just like all the rest of us and they will work multiple clients depending upon the client schedule so um, some clients we see five hours a day six hours a day and then that's usually their only client they have Um, some clients are three hours a day and so they'll see that client in the morning and then they'll go see another client in the afternoon so it all really depends upon um, the clients what what their needs are and then how we can dispatch them so to speak and get them as many hours and as many clients as they can become involved with what need are you typically fulfilling for the uh, seniors or the caregivers fulfilling is it you know just the laundry and the meal cooking is it the overcoming the loneliness that sometimes it's associated you know with the uh, the the senior years i mean what service and need are the caregivers mostly providing when it's still in home care 100 percent of the time it is companionship 100 percent of the time so all the other stuff that they're doing the laundry the food the cleaning it's up, just a bypass it's just, it's it's just, just a byproduct a, of correct byproduct correct um most of our seniors when they fall one time they are so scared to fall again and and i don't know if anybody else is this way but the more you're scared to do something you usually end up doing it because you over um over compensate for it um so we're there just to be that safety that confidence um we're just there to make sure that they have that um attention and they know that we've got their back so to speak what about some of the younger um uh not seniors but say somebody in their 40s that might have something like a a parkinson's disease Mm -hmm. do you help them out we do we do yes parkinson's is um very prevalent um we are um, getting more and more parkinson's clients and the parkinson's clients and the alzheimer's clients are more and more getting younger what about people that end up with like early dementia? Because I think I got about six months left on my time <laughs> clock, and I probably will need your services. <laughs> now, how how can we help seniors stay connected to society as they age? Because you're saying that companionship is the number one need that you're fulfilling. What can seniors do? What can the adult children do to help their seniors stay connected to the community to combat you know uh, this loneliness, the loneliness or the mm-hmm. depression? Where well, you have options, you um, can always bring you can. Always always bring us in um, and we can get them out and about one of the problems with the seniors lonely and depression is that they we've talked about had to give up their driving they don't get to go to the activities or the places they like to go their favorite restaurants their favorite hair salon or lunch with the girls or golf with the boys um, so we can do that but other things that an adult child can do is get them involved in adult day centers they have daily um, daily rates or daily activities um, some of them t- load them up in a bus and go see the base Baseball game or load them up in the bus and go to a museum and so you can get them to interact by getting them involved in some of the local adult day centers if that's not an option um, some of your local assisted living facilities the actual brick-and-mortar buildings they have activities and oftentimes as caregivers will go and incorporate our senior citizen our client into an activity at a facility give you an example we had a client that their friend just recently moved into an assisted living facility and that friend wanted her friend our client her other friend to come to the facility because they were doing some kind of an art thing or some kind of a activity that they she knows they would have all enjoyed i think they were painting so our caregiver took the client to the facility to do painting with her friend so she still has that camaraderie as the friends are moving they're still having their that enjoyment uh, when, I, when I was a teenager, I worked in ALFs quite often. My mom was a nurse, and that's primarily where she worked. Mm-hmm. Um, when you talk about outside entertainment, you're talking about like Elvis impersonators, right? There's actually <laughs> Elvis impersonators. And you know, there's actually a Frank Sinatra impersonator. Yeah, His name yeah. is Don Jasim, and he looks just like Frank, and he sounds exactly <laughs> like Frank, well, and ne- he has a big band. The next time Elvis comes up, can you 
give me a call? Totally. <laughs> right on. Totally. Right. As long as you're not doing that compressed air with Andrick. Just saying. <laughs> well, well, I will not call you on a Wednesday then. Okay, thank you. you know, we appreciate right. that. <laughs> Currently talking to uh, Christy Campbell, a franchise owner with Home Instead Senior Care. And learn more about this, homeinstead.com forward slash 482. You're listening to That Business Show. Jamie Maloney, your business becomes show business. Have you ever tried to buy a home for your family only to find out that you don't qualify for a mortgage loan? You thought that after 20 years as a customer of your bank, they would help you when you needed it the most, right? Unfortunately, the banks of today are not the banks of our parents and grandparents, and our relationships with them just don't matter anymore. My name is Frank Cotto, and I'm the president of the Lincoln Lending Group. We all may need a bank, but we also need a Frank, and that's what I'm here to do for you today. Lincoln Lending Group will waive all of your lending fees, which include your mortgage, application fee, your underwriting fee, processing fees, and any bank points. Just call 813-MORTGAGE. You drop the E, and we'll drop the fee. Who doesn't have a smartphone these days? And of course, there's an app for everything. Well, almost everything. That's why the folks at Popcorn Apps started developing mobile applications. They saw people like you with genius ideas, unable to make those thoughts a reality. They develop applications for tens of thousands of dollars less than you'll find anywhere else and will turn your idea into a reality in a matter of just a few months. Think you're not ready? Think again. They are your one-stop shop for mobile application development. See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn. Or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million-dollar business and a world changer starting today. Teresa Turner is a certified public accountant and the founder of Tax Happens, a boutique-style CPA firm providing small businesses and individuals with hands-on, personalized tax and accounting services. Although we would love to tell you how happy their clients are, we would like you to see for yourself. Tax Happens has 21 Google reviews and a 4.8 star Google rating, 17 Yelp reviews and a 5 star Yelp rating, 38 Facebook reviews and a 4.9 star Facebook rating. What sets Tax Happens apart is number one, upfront pricing, two, clear deadlines, three, personally available year round, and number four, a willingness to empower clients to do as much or as little as they desire. Visit TaxHappens.com for more information. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their shop-at-home flooring sales service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. Savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers, communicate among teams, and collaborate with partners. Even with advances in technology, you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them online at www.alphacomputing.com. Did you know the biggest challenge business leaders face today is creating an engaged and productive workforce culture? Bill Meyer Ham Consulting wants to help you solve this challenge. They will help you transform your workforce culture to produce amazing business results. Call Bill Meyer Ham Consulting at 941-201-4650 today or visit BillMeyerHam.com. That's BillMeyerHam.com. Have a conversation. What's up, business rock stars? Are you ready to bring out the CEO in you? Join Julianne Nichols, CEO of Focus on You Strategy, every other Friday on That Business Show. She'll be talking with other chief entrepreneurial officers about how they grew their businesses. Remember, you could join the conversation at Focus on You Strategies, Focus Fridays Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. Be the CEO of you. From the RP Funding Traffic Network. One major accident around the Bay Area, that is on southbound East Lake at Landsbrook Parkway. couple lanes blocked here due to an overturned vehicle. Traffic being diverted around this crash. may want to stick with southbound US-19 instead to get you southbound through northern Pinellas County just a little bit quicker. Also southbound 275, it's jammed from before Beers to around Hillsborough Avenue. Southbound I-75 from just south of Bruceby Downs to I-4. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson, New York, Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line, 866-545-9595. 
This report is brought to you by the Center for Disease Control. Zika is being spread by mosquitoes. Protect yourself, your community, pregnant women, and our next generation. There are actions you can take. Go to cdc.gov slash prevent Zika to learn more. Together, we can fight Zika and protect our babies. Today, partly sunny with a 30% rain chance, high 89. Tonight, breezy with a low 76. Tomorrow, windy with a 30% chance of rain, high 88. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business. Talking with Christy Campbell, franchise owner of Home Instead Senior Care. Learn more at Home Instead dot com forward slash 482 and we're talking about tips uh on the holidays that are coming up and getting your uh, seniors uh, ready uh, to make it an effective and happy uh, holiday and we're talking about you know preparation being key uh, the, the meal choice but also uh dealing with the uh, day of the event the noise that goes on this is something that people need to be mindful of you do you know because it's great and it's fun the more family around that's what holidays are all about for so many people um your senior citizen will get overwhelmed with the noise, especially if there is an Alzheimer's or dementia, um, even guesstimation that there is a diagnosis. Um, you will find your senior citizen either get aggravated or agitated because of the kids and the noise and the running around, um, or you may see them get withdrawn. Um, don't push it, leave them alone, let them have their space. They're trying to deal with all the activity when you have multiple conversations going on in a room when you have multiple um, people moving around and clanging around and the noise and the it can get overwhelming to a senior citizen so if they kind of just kind of withdraw or go to themselves just go love on them and say hey dad hey mom how you doing okay you're good and just let them have their space they are trying to deal with um, processing it because they cannot filter so to speak or they cannot distinguish different activities they can't multitask like they once used to so just give them the space um, or um, understand that that's um, how they are and don't make them go um, and if you don't want them to leave home alone then you can always have a caregiver but um, just acknowledge that they're going to need a little bit of time to uh, you know do a caregivers quiet room. do caregivers ever uh, um, um, go with the seniors to the uh, family affairs we is do. that is that part of that too we do yep we'll go to the family affairs we go I mean oftentimes we go to the beach with them um, one caregiver even got to fly to New York for a trip you know it was a quick trip um, yeah we'll do you know we're about assistant independence we'll do whatever the senior citizen wants us to do so that they are not left out that's the bottom line and noises are the triggers for these dementia and these these confusion outbreaks. What is it about noise that triggers is just stress inducing? So it's stress inducing because their brain can't analyze, they can't filter, and then you also have to sometimes have hearing problems where the louder the noise, the more they can't hear. Um, as you're losing your hearing, the more high pitched, the more the tone, the louder it is, it's worse. Um, when our senior citizens, when we're trying to communicate and they're hard of hearing, we go low and slow. Um, we drop our pitch, we drop our tone, and um, and we get down to them. So it's just, um, it can be overwhelming. And just acknowledge it, don't push it, and allow them the opportunity to regroup and then come back out when they're ready. Is it a good idea to maybe like um, usher them towards taking a walk or something like that and just getting them out of that room uh, altogether? If you can see it happening, sure. You know, if you see somebody starting to get agitated or they're starting to pace or they're or they're starting to look antsy, hey, mom, you want to take a walk? Come on, let's take a walk. I could use a walk. Let's go. Um, don't let them go by themselves. But yeah, sure, that would be great if you're intuitive and you're paying attention. Sometimes we get so busy we don't get to pay attention very well. Um, but just just acknowledge that they just need that little bit of. Um, and the holiday, the holiday season is also time to recall old memories and old stories. Is it good to talk about you know old memories and past stories with your senior loved ones? 
That's a good point, man. I used to love sitting down with my grandmother and with, mm-hmm. with her, her photo album and just mm-hmm. listening to all the cool stories she had about all the photos. I mean, uh, uh, like you mentioned earlier that a lot of the memories and stuff cause depression. I mean, is it always a good idea to, to sit down with them and kind of like just go through their life with them? If the memory is a happy memory, it's a great idea. Um, if the memory is going to bring up that the husband just passed away and so they're missing the husband, then you want to redirect them to a memory that maybe is a happier memory. So that's when you can pull out the photo albums and we call that redirecting. Um, redirect them to a happy place again um, versus allowing them to be sad because the only thing they can remember is when a loved one died because that loved one's there now, now not there at the holiday s- that's an important point then the ability to redirect yeah. thought processes before they grow into something that could dampen the uh that the evening or the afternoon or whatever the case may Correct. be so redirecting uh, redirecting is huge having a plan ahead of time for that too. <laughs> i'm gonna be the easiest old guy on the planet because when i get into that <laughs> mode all you have to do is bust out like a maxim magazine and i'm in my happy place <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's pretty typical of all of our male clients quite honestly but that's okay you guys are pretty simple <laughs> now we got a couple uh couple minutes left so for people that aren't familiar with your business you do in-home care so uh for people that are on this is stage one of assisted living so and as they you know progress uh through the uh through the process uh then you don't do the um assisted living facilities right you refer that out correct correct yeah we do the assisted independence we're usually in home um wherever home is so it's home instead of anywhere they don't want to be which is Um, awesome and it's just it's just a good time and then from there we help them transition to the assisted living because there are levels of care and there are appropriate times when it's time for us to excuse ourselves and it's time to go to the next level and that's the assisted we'll transition them in we'll make sure they're safe and they're good and then we excuse ourselves um, or we're there at times when um, elderly people get sick um, and we're just there for the couple of nights just for safety watch. Do you see an average age at which point people need to go to an assisted living facility versus home care? I mean, or is it pretty much just dependent upon their, their lifestyle and their health and it, who they lifestyle are? Lifestyle and, and health and social activity. Um, we have a lot of social bugs that went into an assisted living facility early, either because they were divorced or their husband passed away early. So there's some 70-year-olds in assisted living facilities because they like the social the social activity there's other people that choose to go to assisted when they're in their 90s because they're just not ready to go and they're right. still having a good time being in the home environment your service areas across the bay area What's i service source? all of hillsborough county okay. um, but we have counter i have a counterpart in every county around us where there's over 40 owners in the state of florida and 800 owners throughout the, the united states it's a great service man when my grandmother was going through it i kind of wish i had someone around like chrissy maybe she would have like enjoyed her home much longer than she did yeah you know thanks josh awesome. yeah we make a good we we have a good time and it's one of those deals where we get to uh, make a difference make a positive difference give the adult child some peace of mind because go back to being a child and not the caretaker let us be the caregiver and um we'll handle all that business of being a caregiver and you go be the daughter or the son christy campbell franchise owner with home instead senior care thank you so much thanks guys and again homeinstead.com forward slash 482 is the website phone number 813-684-1972 813-684-1972 coming back from the break it's going to be another hour of that business show and it's going to be working woman wednesdays on that business show with jamie maloney where business becomes show business